Looking for consecutive wins for just the second time this season, the Marquette women's basketball team hosted St. John's Friday night in their annual Play for K game honoring breast cancer awareness. The Golden Eagles would own a 31 to 29 halftime lead, but marred by 22 turnovers. The Red Storm would take this game on the road 64 to 52. 22 turnovers to 13 assists. We need to have a positive assist to turnover ratio. We have to, we have to share the ball more. We need to ha have more movement and we need more people to step up and want to score. Freshman Kenesha Bell, Tia Elbert, and Chantel Valentine combined for 14 of the team's 22 turnovers. Only three Golden Eagle players did not register a turnover Friday. St. John's was able to convert off of Marquette's mistakes more efficiently after halftime, scoring 16 of their 22 points off turnovers in the second half. I thought we had a lot of silly turnovers, you know, and it wasn't anything that St. John's was particularly doing. You know, they weren't pressing. They were just bodying us up a little bit, you know, playing physical defense, and we started to literally, you know, give it to them. Following a 37-all tie less than seven minutes into the second half, the Red Storm would use a 16-0 run in a five-minute stretch to grab an insurmountable lead. St. John's is led by Big East leading scorer Aliyah Hanford's 20-point, 11-rebound double-double and paced by their 19 second-chance points that came from 32 offensive rebounds. We let a team get 32 offensive rebounds on us, which is ridiculous. So that's the, that's the thing we need to fix is toughness. They wanted it more than we did. You know, our box outs weren't there. We were there. We just weren't pushing back. So that's, you know, obviously they have size, but, I mean, so do we. So we need to push back. We need to want it more than them. And they clearly came in the second half and just you know, owned us on the boards. Carolyn Keeger and the Golden Eagles will return to the court Sunday afternoon to host Seton Hall on Senior Day. Reporting from the Almaguire Center, Mike Cianciolo, MUTV Sports.